Do you want to be like Jesus? To experience the power he had, the life that he lived? If so, listen to this devotional. Written by Ellen G. White Thank you so much for joining us once again for our daily devotional reading. Our title for the day is God Gives Grace to Those Who Believe His Word. September 13th. Our key scripture is taken from Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. For an in-depth study on the verse, do not miss Evangelive the verse a program where we study each verse deeply, understanding and trying to apply that verse in our own lives. I have been shown that many have confused ideas in regard to conversion. They often heard the words repeated from the pulpit, you must be born again. You must have a new heart. These expressions have perplexed them. They could not comprehend the plan of salvation. Many have stumbled to ruin because of the erroneous doctrines taught by some ministers concerning the change that takes place at conversion. Some have lived in sadness for years, waiting for some marked evidence that they were accepted by God. They have separated themselves in a large measure from the world and find pleasure in associating with the people of God, yet they dare not profess Christ because they fear it would be presumption to say that they are children of God. They are waiting for that peculiar change that they have been led to believe is connected with conversion. After a time, some of these do not receive evidence of their acceptance with God and are then led to identify themselves with his people. And they date their conversion from this time but I have been shown that they were adopted into the family of God before that time. God accepted them when they became weary of sin and having lost their desire for worldly pleasures, resolved to seek God earnestly. But failing to understand the simplicity of the plan of salvation, they lost many privileges and blessings which they might have claimed had they only believed when they first turned to God, that he had accepted them. Others fall into a more dangerous error. They are governed by impulse. Their sympathies are starred and they regard their flight of feeling as an evidence that they are accepted by God and are converted. But the principles of their life are not changed. The evidences of a genuine work of grace on the heart are to be found not in feeling but in the life. By their fruits, Christ declared, you shall know them. The work of grace upon the heart is not an instantaneous work. It is effected by continuous daily watching and believing the promises of God. The repentant believing ones who cherish faith and earnestly desire the renewing grace of Christ, God will not turn away empty. He will give them grace, and ministering angels will aid them And as they persevere in their efforts to advance. Evangelism, page 286 and 287. Thank you so much for joining us for another daily devotional reading. My prayer and hope is that as we behold Jesus, we will be changed into the same image.